Hello, welcome to Chris Park in Shooting Sports. I'm out today using different types of the bog shooting sticks and I'm going to start off with the Havoc sticks. Now these are the smallest lightweight sticks and they've got screw to unlock and extend out. These sticks aren't for standing shots, these are for kneeling or sitting. So I can just pop these out like this. They've got rubber feet on the bottom so they're fine on, on tarmac or gravel or you know they're fine on grass but they haven't got the metal spikes like some of the others have and we've got a rotating yoke at the top which is rubber grippy finish so I'm just going to take a shot with these. You can also see on the side here it's got two neoprene handles to hold on to and with a tripod stick I would always recommend having one leg forwards and two legs back that way when the gun recoils the sticks come back in a straight line rather than kicking off to one side or the other. That gives me a super stable kneeling shooting position here. Obviously I'm out exposed, but if I was backed up into the hedge line or in some foliage, I'd have great cover for shooting from. As you can see, it's very stable. I can reload the rifle, maintain vision of target, and I've got no problems at all shooting from these sticks. These box sticks are the slightly taller adrenaline version and rather than the Havocs which have a rotating leg, these ones have a toggle lock so you can extend these ready for your likely shooting position before you go out on your hunt. It takes a little bit longer but with them set to the correct length they're also great, lightweight, easy to carry and they're great for glassing off too because you can pop them up in front of you at your normal shooting height and you have them as a perfect rest to glass from. Now setting up individually, you've got nice neoprene handles to hold on to. Again, setting up with the three legs, one pointing away, two spread laterally, gives you the most stable shooting platform. Another yoke system here, it's rubberized, so it rotates, gives you a nice stable position without too much limitation. And of course you can immediately adjust height by spreading or narrowing the pattern of the legs. Now this is a little bit low for me with the base ones all the way out so I'm just going to extend these a little bit more and once you get used to sticks like this you'll set them up and you'll probably put a mark here somewhere on the leg and you'll be happy with it and you'll know exactly when you get it out of your vehicle or out of your bag where you're going to set it to before you set off on your hunt. So if I go somewhere like that and that's about right for my shooting position now so I would then walk around with the sticks like this, I can hold my binoculars on the top, no problem viewing from those, and then immediately I'm quietly into position like that. The rifle comes out, and I'm ready to shoot quickly. You can see on the base of the adrenaline sticks, there's a rubber foot that surrounds the steel spike, and if you spin those rubber feet out, on all three legs, you've now got non-slip support on harder surfaces like tarmac or, or stone. And it's a great option for a different type of shooting position. These are the Bog Death Grip tripod sticks. Now these are available in aluminium or carbon fibre. The carbon fibre saves weight and of course, although they've got a neoprene leg here, Holding on to aluminium versus carbon fibre tends to draw more heat out of your hands. You can see here we've got a rotating head and we've also got a gun clamp at the top. Now in packed up format like this, you can see three feet, steel spike, rotating foot, again with a rubber edge so that it will grip on more hard surfaces like tarmac or stone. There's a rubber strap round to keep all three together. And again, I would generally recommend these are for sedentary hunting positions where you're going to be sitting or standing still and waiting. They're not really for walking around because they are slightly heavier and they're probably less mobile. But we've got toggles here to extend each leg and it works to set them up before you go out on your hunt or you're sitting waiting. Plenty of time because they're a little bit noisier than the Havocs or the Adrenalines but you do get more support. Now, at the top, there's a red 
button here that goes all the way through. And that gives you three versions or three angles to which the sticks will extend on their maximum. So all the way through that side, I can extend out to 85 degrees. In the center, I get 45 degree extension. Or all the way through, I get just 20 degree extension. So all the way through at 20 degrees gives me a great setup for a standing shot. So as before, I'm setting up with one leg forward and two legs backward because as the gun rocks, it will come back in a straight line. If you set up slightly sideways as the gun kicks, it tends to just jolt sideways slightly, which is not, not great for maintaining sight picture of the quarry or the accuracy of the rifle. So set up reasonably in line straight like that. This can be used either way around, but this way around would show me the locking jaws to this side. I'm right-handed. I prefer that the pivot control, the pivot tension is on the left side here, so I can lock that or set the friction wherever I want it to be. And when I'm initially setting up, I can put the rifle into the sticks, making sure I've still got magazine accessibility at the rear. And then I'll just spin this handle to nip the gun in position. Now the deep jaws on these death grip sticks I mean you don't need to clamp down particularly tight and on a lighter sporting rifle especially with a polymer stock like this one you don't want to clamp too tight because you will actually push the stock in onto the barrel but that is perfect and for sedentary positions where I want to be watching waiting out I can leave the rifle in the sticks tension it as I want and it will sit there safe supported and immediately to hand from my safe position the rifle's all ready to shoot it's already set up I've got my, maybe my thermal spotters or binoculars watching out for whatever's happening going on. And when the shot presents itself, all I have to do is put the rifle in position, make sure it's loaded. And everything's safe, everything's stable and everything's secure. Another factor is that the rifle is still pointing exactly where I took that shot. So if you're actually looking for the quarry or its reaction or movement, maybe moving to a thermal spotter or binoculars, you've got an exact immediate direction looking down the rifle as to where your last shot would be. Sometimes in a moment when you're full of adrenaline, you might look in another direction or lose that position. So it's another handy addition to using tripod sticks. So for example, if I want to shoot prone, I flick that all the way through there to 85 degrees and it means I can put the legs all the way open. And it will now sit down virtually on the ground Just for example, if I didn't have a bipod on the rifle. That's now in there. And I've got a super stable prone shooting position. Again, the rifle's completely secure. And I've got panning and elevation capability from it. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you've liked seeing a little bit of a demonstration quickly of how these three different types of bog shooting sticks work in different shooting environments. We've got the Havoc, the Adrenaline, and the Death Grip. The Havoc are really only for kneeling or sitting shots. The Adrenaline are the lightweight sticks that will do full height. You know, they're shown actually low down here, but they'll come to full height and therefore more dynamic shooting. The bog death grips here, these are for the definitely the more sedentary scenarios where you've got a long weight and you want the rifle held solidly. And you, have, you can take hands off to use your other devices like binoculars, thermals, etc. Please like, please subscribe, please comment and click the notification bell because that's what drives me to keep making these videos and introduce new products to you. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.